All right, here are examples from lesson one, two. Uh, in this first one, notice in the red you're seeing it says find and then SU. Well, remember that doesn't say point S and point U. It says find the length of segment SU. Now, when I look at that, I can come up here and I can see, well, I can see point S. I can see point U. So I want to figure out how long is just this segment right there. Now, what I want you to think back to is this slide. One, when we're talking about between, are three points collinear? Well, I look at them. Yep, they're collinear. They're on the same segment. Now, two, I can use that little equation right there. Now, I know it's going to be different when I come back because I don't have point A, B, and C. I have point S, U, and T. So in my little equation, my equation, if I were to write it out using the symbolism, it's going to tell me the length of segment S, U plus the length of segment UT is then going to equal the length of segment ST. Now I start with that because now it's just a matter of filling in everything I know. Well, the length of segment SU, that was 5X minus 3. I'm going to have to add on the length of segment UT, which it tells me is 7X. And then that's going to all equal the length of segment ST, which it tells me is 45 units. Well, now we have an equation. goes back to algebra. just a matter of solving it. I'm going to take this equation. I'm going to solve it. Um, I'm going to do this as fast as possible, so a lot of times I'm going to throw multiple steps together. If you need some help with it, please let me know, and I'll be more than happy to help. So I'm going to add my 3 to both sides. Now I have the 5x and the 7x, which put it together is going to put me at 12x, and this is 48. Divide both sides by the 12, and I just found out that x equals 4. Now be careful because notice it said find the length of segment SU. x equaled 4, but I want the length of segment SU. So now I come back, and I know the length of segment SU is 5x. Well, I just found out that x is 4. And then I have to add or subtract 3. So I have 20 minus 3. The length of segment SU is going to equal 17 units. Now sometimes it might ask you for the length of segment UT. Plug it into the, your x value in a different spot, and you'll be able to figure it out. Now on this one, very similar problem. It says find the value of, of uh, the length of segment LM if L is between N and M. And then I have these three little segment lengths. I'm a very big picture person, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a picture of this. I know I have point L, point M, and I have point N. And I know L is between N and M. So these three points I know are collinear. And where I put that point that's between doesn't really matter. But I know L is between the other two. So I'm going to make mine look like this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to the information that it gives me. It tells me the length of segment NL. So I come on my picture, and I'm just going to write 5x there. I know the length of segment LM is 3x, and I'm going to put it there. Now, most of you are going to look at this and go, well, 3x is probably going to be smaller than 5x. Yeah, in most cases, you're probably right. But remember, we can't trust what our eyes tell us, so I know that the one segment's longer than it, even though it doesn't look at it. And then my last one that I have here, let's find a pretty color to use. And how about, let's go with purple. I know the length of segment NL is 15, so I'm going to come back here, 15. Well, now notice this. I have these two things. One time it tells me the length of segment LN is 5x, and one time it tells me 15. It's the same segment. Obviously, it's going to have to be equal in length. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to just write an equation. 5x is going to have to equal 15. And again, I have an equation to solve. Solve my equation, and I find out that x equals 3. And it wants me to find notice the, the value of the length of segment LM. Well, now that I know what X is, I can come back up here. Length of segment LM 
is 3x. Well, 3 times x, and x we found to be 3. Therefore, I just figured out that the length of segment LM is going to equal 9 units. And there's a couple of examples dealing with what it means to be between and how you can set up an equation, solve it, and then plug your solution back in where you need it. That will do it for our examples on lesson one, two.